Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and I just created something that I think might be a super useful tool to help you learn faster. Basically, I've got my complete course on making my game Kitchen Chaos. There's a free version here on YouTube and a paid version on my site. And then what I did was I basically took the giant script for all the lectures, everything from these 46 lectures, then compiled with tons of questions that I both asked and answered myself, and then I trained a ChatGPT assistant on all that data. Then with that, I made a pre comic system that basically listens to when someone posts a comment, then it asks the bot to generate a reply and posts that reply directly on the comment. So if someone posts a question, after one to two minutes, there is an automatic bot reply. Now, the main benefit of this is obviously speed. Personally, I always still answer all of the question myself manually. I've been doing that ever since the course launch and I continue doing it. By now, I've answered literally thousands of questions in both the free version and the paid version. But of course, I can only do that at most once or twice per day. Meaning that if someone has a question, it might take up to 24 hours for me to get a reply. That time delay, that can be quite annoying, especially if you're trying to learn and you're actively in the middle of it. When trying to learn, it is very important to keep up the momentum, to keep learning, get answers to your question, then keep it ready so you truly learn. Whereas with this bot, the response is almost instant within one to two minutes. So if you have a question, you can simply post a comment. So let's say, for example, I've heard the singleton pattern is bad. Is that true? And let's go ahead and post a comment. There's my comment I just posted. Now the bot is generating a reply and within one to two minutes I should have an answer. Since the bot was trained on the entire text for all of the course lectures as well as many of my own frequently asked questions that I both asked and answered myself, because of that the response should be pretty accurate, so let's see. And up here it is, the automatic AI reply. It is saying how the singleton pattern is not inherently bad. It's a tool that can be used well or poorly, pretty much like every other programming tool. Problems tend to arise when singletons are overused, leading to a web of interlock references that can make your code base difficult to manage and understand. So yeah, this is pretty much exactly what I would say, and this is pretty much exactly what I teach in the course. Singletons are a tool, and as with any tool, they can be used or abused, so this is an excellent reply. If I was just learning, then this would be an excellent way to get a really detailed, very correct answer within just two minutes. But of course, the goal of this bot is not to replace me. I will still be answering questions manually. The goal for this bot is basically to give a really quick answer so you can continue learning pretty much instantly. And then when I see it within the next 24 hours, I will then reply to the bot and either confirm or provide some more extra clarification to whatever the bot said. So if you own the optional paid version of the course, go ahead, test it out, ask a question, and let's see what the bot comes up with. Now, some of you might be wondering why is this feature only enabled on the paid course and not on the free course that is here on YouTube? And the answer to that is obviously pretty simple. These AI bots cost money to run, and it's actually quite a lot more than a view is worth on YouTube. In order to run this bot, because it was trained on so much data, the entire course is about 10,000 lines long. So because of all that data, in order to answer a question, in order to generate a response, it costs anywhere between 10 to 15 cents. Now that might not sound like a lot, but over here on YouTube, each view is literally worth just a fraction of a cent. My usual RPM is about $2, which means each view is worth literally 0.2 cents. So the cost to run a bot is literally 50 times what an average view is worth. Technically, if all of these 1.7 million views, if all of these people ask a question, then I would owe OpenAI about 200 grand. So as you can tell, that is really not something that I can afford. I'd love to enable this feature to help out everyone, but it's really just not possible. Either way, if you're following the course for free on YouTube, I will still be answering all those questions manually. But if you have the optional paid version, go ahead, ask a question, the bot will respond almost immediately, and then I will manually give an extra answer. And if you're curious in the technical terms, building this was actually quite an interesting challenge. In technical terms, it involves quite a lot of things all working together to make this work. First, it involves a teachable webhook. This one is fired automatically whenever someone posts a comment. Then that webhook goes into my PHP web server, which then listens to it and interacts with the OpenAI API. It asks it to generate a reply, but that process, that one is not instant. It actually creates a run and goes into a queue that only generates a response afterwards. So then I have to periodically query the API to see if the response has been generated. When it does complete that process, then I ask the OpenAI API to get the final message. Then with that message, suddenly Teachable does not actually have an API endpoint for automatically posting a comment. So because of that, I actually had to use some Python. I had to learn how to use the Selenium package. This one lets you automate interacting with websites in various ways. So basically with that script, it automatically goes onto the course website. It pretty much writes a comment that the ChatGPT AI generated and simply manually posts that comment. This is definitely a fun challenge to get all of this working, all of these pieces. This was quite tricky, but I'm quite happy with the final result. I'm not an expert in Python or Linux or even PHP in general. So building this actually required quite a lot of trial and error, but it was a fun challenge and the final system works very well. All right, so I hope you find this new feature useful. If this is as helpful as I hope it will be, then I plan to keep doing this for pretty much every course that I make. 
I really think the speed in getting an automated reply that is hopefully very accurate, I really think that will help people learn quite a lot faster, quite a lot better. Alright, so go ahead, post a comment and try it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.